Hello everyone, RJ here with Hacking University and today I will be showing you how you can fix or resolve your bizarre blue screen of death error in your Windows, Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows XP. So basically what is bizarre? Bizarre is you know simply known as blue screen of death. Actually it's a term given to somewhat screen that looks like this. So actual the background color is blue and it displays some you know randomly technical stuff that's actually not understandable by a normal person but you know deep geek and freaks of computers have just gone into uh, the system and they have just explored how actually the Bassad works and why it really happens so actually I faced Bassad error you know like two to three times and the first time uh, when it occurred I just uh, you know tried some uh, things there and I get to that my RAM was faulty so I use the memtest 86 plus you know it's a kind of a tool that is used you know you can simply uh, analyze your RAMs and it will show you if your RAM is in the faulty conditions and if it is then you can obviously replace it so I replaced my RAM and the bizarre error was gone and the next time I got this error so I just use the Dell diagnostic tool so actually uh, I'm having the Dell uh, L502X laptop and uh, I just uh, you know got this error so I searched a lot on the internet and they said that uh, the Dell you know ships you, your PC actually with the Dell diagnostic tool so I just searched for it and uh, while booting I just pressed my F12 key randomly and that took me into the boot menu and the last option was there which is the Dell Diagnostic. So as soon as I clicked on it, you know, basically what it does, it just scans your whole system, your hard disk, your RAM and pretty much everything and uh, whenever it finds something, you know, that's not actually in the condition it should be, it simply beeps. So uh, while it was analyzing my whole PC, I came across the HDD error. So it said that some, some kind of error, you know, I, I searched for that error. And when I searched for that error, I just uh, came across that uh, that error means that my HDD needs to be replaced. So I have already posted about one post that, you know, you can shift to SSD from HDD. So actually that's from uh, my own, you know, <coughs> uh, review because I have just updated my Dell laptop uh, to SSD from HDD. I'm sorry for this error. I don't know. <coughs> so after that, my Bassad error was, you know, pretty much fixed up. Now today I'm actually going to show you, you know, why this uh, blue screen of error occurs and what are the real tips and tricks to fix the Bassad error. So there could be many reasons, you know, actually the main reasons are, you know, the outdated drivers. Then there is uh, something, you know, faulty RAM, as I said, or, you know, you know, actually the blue screen of error, uh, sorry, death can occur due to, you know, the software or hardware conflict. So it's nothing like your software is there or nothing like your hardware is there. So both could be, you know, faulty or any one of them could be faulty. So it's better to, you know, follow all these tips and tricks that could obviously uh, get you to fix your Bassard error. So the first one is obviously analyzing your Bassard error. So basically there is a new tool uh, which uh, you can obviously go on to this post the link is in the description so while you are on that the first point is obviously to analyze your Bassard error so analyzing a Bassard error is not that easy by you know like it said that small objects are not you know viewable without with your naked eye so that's what the saying goes over here so you normally you cannot you know analyze and say oh boom Bassard error this means something like this and I need to fix up this thing but obviously there is something you know many hackers and many technical freaks have developed some nice applications and there is a nice tool called blue screen view that collects your mini dump and actually the mini dump works like whenever your blue screen of death is occurred a mini dump file is created and this tool simply you know snaps the mini dump file and analyzes it and shows you which actual dll file is conflicting and you can you know fix that thing up so you can download this tool from this link 
the link is right over here it's nursesoft.net slash util slash blue underscore screen underscore view dot html so this is somewhat the tool you can download the tool from below the link is over there you can read more about this tool on their page after that you have analyzed your bizarre error if you get to the conclusion you can obviously fix it up but if you're not getting to the conclusion then there are a few more tips and tricks you can follow the second one is you know using the system recovery which is also called system tree stroke point so sometimes your windows automatically create some nice system restore points but if you're not having some nice system restore points then obviously you can step on to the next step and fix it right away but if you have created system restore point it's really good that you restore your pc to that system you know that time that will obviously fix it up and you can get rid of this bizarre error the next one is obviously as i said using dell diagnostics so if you're having a dell computer or laptop then the best option is to use the dell diagnostics tool you can do that by rebooting your pc or you know laptop and then there is a key you know obviously i'm using the dell laptop and i'm having the key the f12 so i have to randomly you know press the f12 key and as soon as i'm actually doing that the f12 key then i will uh, you know boot up into my boot menu and the last option is the dell diagnostic so you, you can click on that tool you can you know analyze all the errors using the tool and if the tool beeps you just need to check that what's the thing that's really faulty so that's the third thing you can you know actually use and the fourth one is analyzing your ram errors so as i have already said i uh, the first time i got this you know uh, the bizarre error it was my ram which was faulty so analyzing your ram errors is pretty easy there's a tool called memtest 86 plus as i have given the link over here and uh, you know the post you can click on that link you will be on the actual you know page we can read more about the tool and you can download the latest version of it so it's a bootable you know stuff you can boot it and you can analyze your ram then there is another one removing your malware well this could also be another reason which might be causing the bizarre error so make sure you are having or you know you have just downloaded some nice antivirus and malware scanner that could help you out I would recommend going with the Bitdefender I have already added the Bitdefender 6 month version you can search my blog hackingnursy.in else there is a free version you can get that and scan your PC the next one and it is a very important one and this could be the one that could save your PC's life which is updating drivers you know sometimes outdated drivers really conflict a lot so it's really better to you know update your drivers so there are few nice tools the first one is obviously driver reviver uh, you can download it from the official site it's not available for free obviously you can scan your drivers for free but for updating it it needs uh, you to pay some little amount it's very uh, little uh, possibly three to four dollars which is like 200 rupees or something so not a big deal you can get it out and you can scan your PC the another one is I have been driver booster I posted a giveaway maybe it's over maybe it's there you can just click on this link you can just visit and see for yourself the last one is obviously you know installing fresh windows well this is the last option I wouldn't recommend you doing this because you might have installed so many good softwares and you might have customized your windows with your own looks but if you're facing your bizarre error and you have just consulted a technician and if he's also not able to you know fix it up then the last option is going with installing your fresh windows maybe that could help and if it's not helping you out then obviously it's the hardware conflict you need to go to some you know computer specialist and tell him come on man check out my ram or something it's something there which is conflicting and he might have some tool that could help you out so this was the uh, you know a little video that might help you out in you know detecting and solving your bizarre errors if you think you love this video and you find it really useful there's a like button below and there's obviously the subscribe button subscribe to my future updates this was Rishabh Jain with Hacking University peace